Hey there, welcome back to another quick tutorial from HP Tuners. Today we're jumping into VCM Editor to show you how to use the slave locking feature. This feature particularly applies to tuning shops that want to protect the calibration files that they send to their remote customers, but anyone can use this feature. Simply put, enabling this feature allows you to have control over who can open and write the file that you're sending. You can even put limits on the vehicle the file can be written to by entering a VIN. If this sounds like something you want to take advantage of, stick around. Let's get into it. With vCM Editor open along with the tune file that you want to protect, navigate to Edit and then Remote Tuning here. And this will open up the following window where you'll be able to set the restrictions. You'll see three tabs here at the top, Master Slave, slave restrictions, and flashing. Starting with the first tab here, you'll see a few important notes and I'll just read them. Um, by setting the master tuner ID in this tune, you can only open this file with full view edit access. Tunes that have no master ID set cannot be viewed or edited by anyone, including you. And then tunes that have a slave interface ID set can, only, or can be opened by your slaves for writing only, so no viewing or editing which means that they cannot see any of the definitions in the tune that you are sending. So first we'll set the master ID. As a tuner, you are the master, so you'll want to enter your device's ID, otherwise known as the serial number. As we just went through, if you don't set a master ID, you won't be able to view or edit the file, so make sure you do this. Moving on to the slave, this is where you'll enter the serial number of your customer's device. You can enter multiple devices here if you want to. The devices that you enter will be able to open the file to write only. None of the definitions will be visible to your customer. Moving on to the next tab here, slave restrictions. If you want to further restrict what your customers can do with the file, you can actually enter a VIN so that file can only be written to one specific vehicle. To do this, enter the VIN, the control serial number, and then the control OS here. Just make sure you enter those values correctly so your customer doesn't run into any issues when they go to write the file. Now under the last tab here, flashing, you can also make it so your customer can write entire or calibration only. If you're doing an OS mod, for example, you must select write entire. So go in here and just deselect calibration. This makes it really simple for your customers. The last two items here, next write force method and the ID, um, these are used for TDN, our remote tuning delivery network. So this allows you to select what the very next right method is and only the next right method. So if you have a case where you need your customer to write entire on the very next right of a file you're providing, you would go in here and set this to entire and then generate a new ID. Then when you send that file to the customer, the very next right of the file would be forced to entire, but then any subsequent flashes of said file, the customer would have the choice of all available right methods. Once you have your IDs and restrictions set, save your file and send it to your customer. It's as simple as that. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions about this feature, comment below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next tutorial.